Hi, I'm Brother Prado. Welcome to my page. I hope you're enjoying your day. I want to give you some food for thought. Tomorrow is the first day of school, and there are many parents who are very excited. Number one, you have the house to yourself again. But also, the parents know the importance of an education. An education that will help the students better themselves. But just as important as an education is, the parent must realize that it is not the teacher's responsibility to teach the child. It's the parent's responsibility to teach the child. And the teacher is there to reinforce to the student what the parent is teaching the student, which is their child. So the parents have the responsibility to make sure that education is instilled in their own child. So that way it won't be so hard on the teacher because the teacher is not there to babysit. The teacher is there to reinforce, is there to make sure what the parent is teaching the child that it comes out. But just as important as a secular education, what's more important is a spiritual education. The spiritual education that should be implemented not by the church, not by the teacher, but by the parent. It's the parent responsibility to teach the child who God is. But most importantly, it's not done by what you say, but it's done by how you live in front of the child. The children emulate the teacher, the real teacher, which are the parents. So parents, I ask you, what are you doing in teaching your child who God is? Also ask yourself this, are you teaching your child who God is? Like I said, not so much by what you say, but how you live. How you live. Can your children see Christ in your life? Do the parents, do the parents realize that the teacher cannot teach the child if the parent is not putting anything within the child? The pastor cannot teach the child if the parents are not putting anything into the child so it's us as parents responsibility to teach our child not just a secular education but more importantly a spiritual education so it's God put us as the parents the priest of our home God put us as the parents the school teacher, the administrator, and the pastor, all in one within the home. So if you have not done your responsible job, then let's confess. Let's repent before God. And don't you know, number one, he's faithful and just to forgive you, but also he will teach you who he is so you can give it to your child. Like I said, the children will not so much do on what you say, but on what they see. The teacher, which are the parents, should do what they're supposed to in teaching a child who God is. And when the parents do their job in teaching who God is to the children, then when they get to school, for a secular education, the teacher won't have a hard time. They will not be cutting up in school because the parents are doing their job in the home. So when the parents are doing their job in the home, in a spiritual and secular realm, then they won't cut, the children won't cut up in the church and they sure won't cut up in the school. So let us pray. That God help us as parents to do our job and effectively minister and teach 
our students, the children, our children, who God put us responsible for. Let us pray. The Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God. God, we ask you, God, for direction, God. We ask you, God, to help us as the parents, God, to teach the students, God, which are our children, God. First of all, who you are, God. God, we repent before you, God, if we have slacked in that area, God. God, we ask you for your forgiveness, God, and we receive your forgiveness, and we thank you for your forgiveness, God. God, we ask you, Lord, to help us, God, to do what you require us to do, God, and that's teach our children who you are, God. Like I said, not so much by what we say, God, but help us, God, to exhibit you, God, to our children, God. Help and allow our children to see Christ in us, God. God, we ask you, God, and we thank you, God, for a safe school year, God. We speak in advance, God, for a safe school year right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we speak in, God, that you put a hedge of protection, God, not just on the students, God, but even the staff, God, that's in the school right now, God. In the name of Jesus, and Satan, we bind every distracted spirit. We bind every bullying spirit right now in the name of Jesus. We bind everything you're trying to do and turn up the young minds of God's people right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of danger right now in the name of Jesus. And we bind every spirit that's like you. We counsel your assignment right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, God. For a successful school year, God. We thank you, God, for a testimony, God. God, we thank you, God, for those students, God, that have may not been paying attention, God. We thank you, God, for helping their focus, God. They'll be focused, God, to have better grades right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. And we holding up every teacher, God. We holding up every staff member, God. In this prayer right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for everything you've done right now, God. Everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video. I pray that it minister and encourage you. Be blessed.